I'm Andy Fisher, WNEW News. At eight minutes past ten, time for the Sears Radio Theater. That's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight, a program of mystery with Vincent Price as your host. Here's a preview. I'm asking myself why I let you dictate to me like this. Because I am on the committee and you are just a hired killer. There are people like you crawling in every gutter. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. Our hot number is 1130, and $1,130 is what you could win for yourself or a mom you love. It's our WNEW tribute to Mother's Day. On a postcard, put your name, address, phone number, and the name of a mother you care about. Send it to 1130 WNEW by Friday, May 11th. All day that day, we'll be selecting cards at random and presenting the senders with either flowers for mom, $50 so you can get the family together on the telephone, or dinner for four at a Manhattan restaurant so mom can have an evening out. Finally, Friday evening, Bob Fitzsimmons will select one entry to receive $1,130. What a visit with mom that will buy. Get your cards in right away to 1130 WNEW, 655 3rd Avenue, New York 10017. Because the hot number is 1130. What in the World Happened in May, brought to you by your local Navy recruiter. May is Admissions Day for South Carolina, admitted in 1788, Rhode Island in 1790, Wisconsin in 1840, and Minnesota admitted in 1858. In May of 1607, the first permanent English settlement in America was established at Jamestown. The U.S. Navy SEAL was adopted in May of 1780. The first Secretary of the Navy, Benjamin Stoddart, was appointed in May of 1798. In May of 1873, the post office issued its first penny postcard. The U.S. Navy Nurse Corps was established in May of 1908. One of the tallest buildings in the world, the Empire State Building, was completed in May of 1931. In May of 1934, the first quintuplets to live beyond infancy, the Dion quintuplets, were born in Canada. What in the World Happened in May is brought to you by your local Navy recruiter. We'll answer your questions about Navy opportunity. Or in the continental United States, call 800-841-8000, toll free. In Georgia, 800-342-5855. This is Vincent Price. Terrorists, they've been around since biblical times, and no period in the long history of our culture has been free of them. But for one reason or another, they seem to get away with their terrorism more easily today. It's becoming more and more difficult to put them where they belong, behind bars. Let me read to you about one of them from what Interpol calls a portrait pal. That's a kind of fact sheet about the people they'd like to get their hands on. Listen. Subject's code name is Grappa. Nationality, unknown. Age, unknown. Physical description, present whereabouts, unknown. <laughs> Looks like a lot of unknowns in there, doesn't it? And there's more. Arrests, nil. Convictions, nil. Modus operandi, Grappa strikes and disappears. There is no evidence whatsoever against this man that cannot instantly be refuted by competent defense lawyers. Well, that's about all there is to the Interpol fact sheet on Grappa, and it's not much to go on. But scrawled in pencil in the bottom left-hand corner of this file is the annotation, Grappa is currently believed to be in Athens, Greece. And whoever made that guess happens to be right. They have no idea at all what he's doing there, and they don't even know what he looks like. But I can tell you, my friends, that Grappa is getting ready for a terrorist hit. He's in Athens, Greece, to murder someone. And that's only the beginning of our story. <laughs> Sears Radio Theater, a new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week, brought to you in Elliot Lewis' production of the Sears Radio Theater. Our story, The Assassin, by Alan Caillou. Our stars, Ivor Berry, Antoinette Bauer, and Shepard Minkin. 
The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value. And now a special message of interest to shoppers across America from Sears. Everybody has been talking about inflation. Well, here's what Sears is helping to do about it. Starting the 1st of May, all prices in Sears Spring General Catalog will be reduced 5%. This means a discount of 5% will automatically be taken off the price of anything and everything you order from the Spring General Catalog between May 1st and July 31st, 1979. Also beginning in May, Sears retail stores across the nation will reduce their regular price of selected items, which means you can expect even greater values. In addition, for limited periods of time, Sears will sharply reduce the price on scores of items in our retail stores. Watch for these Sears super values on TV, radio, and magazines, and your local paper. And you'll benefit from price cuts each month. Everyone wants to control inflation. These are some of the ways Sears is helping to do it. Sears, where America shops for value. Zip and Dash. Zip and Dash dresses from Sears Budget Shop are ready when you are for a quick-paced round of shopping or a leisurely day at home. They're Easy Care Permasmooth Polyester and Cotton to help maintain a crisp look straight from the dryer with little or no ironing in a choice of zippy colored prints in misses and half sizes. So zip up a sunny attitude and be on your way in Zip and Dash dresses at Sears Low Prices from the Budget Shop at most larger Sears retail stores. We are about to examine a terrorist operation from both sides of the fence. It's a particularly nasty situation because the intended victim happens to be a very nice old man. And it's a strange thing. You'd think this violent, brutal business would be exclusively a male province, wouldn't you? But it's not. You'd be surprised how many women, young women at that, have joined these organizations, become part of them, even the brains behind them. I cannot help wishing they had chosen someone else for this operation. Apart from that one trifling error, his reputation is tremendous. Personally, I can't wait to meet him. Ah, here we are. Rango. Well? The sun will shine on Sunday. The rain is good for the crop. I'm so glad. <laughs> Childish games, aren't they? May we come in? My name is Takis, Mr. Moretti, and this is Nadia Assad from the committee. I hope you brought money. I'm running short. A week I've been here. Yes, I brought money. If you don't mind, Miss Assad, I like to keep the drapes drawn. And you'd be wise to stay away from the window. No reason, Moretti, why a lady should not admire the view from your bedroom. I'm looking for binoculars, long-range microphones, cameras. Nobody suspects that I am anyone but Aldo Moretti, a respected businessman from Rome. Nobody. Let us hope that is true. Let us also not assume it. You assume too much, Moretti. It is a weakness. Well, why don't we all sit down and have a drink? I trust you have a bottle of something somewhere, Moretti. In the cupboard. Huh. Ah, good Italian grappa. I admire your sense of humor, my dear friend. Another stupidity. Oh, don't be hard on him, Nadia. He does his best. Drink? No. I have something to say. I will say it and leave you. Frankly, I can hardly wait for that happy moment. Your last job in Rome. He died. Who died? The man you were ordered merely to wound. How could he die? I hit him in the legs, as the committee wanted. He died in hospital of shock. It was meant to be a warning, nothing more. Well, that's one less enemy of the people to worry about. No. He was an Interpol man. Now it's not only the stupid Italian police who are after you, it is Interpol too. We don't like that. It worries me not at all. Then you're a fool. The committee has instructed me to oversee this operation personally. Mr. Takis will bring you up on it. Fill him in, Takis. And before you go, get rid of that stupid bottle. There is really no reason, my dear Nadia, why an Italian should not drink grappa. It is a symptom of his arrogance. And I will not have it. 
Good day. If that female thinks she's going to oversee my operation... Oh, but she will, Moretti. We can't argue with her. The committee, like, uh, like money or beautiful women, is a kind of power that is positively awe-inspiring. So sit down. Calm down, and I will bring you up to date. First, your money. One hundred thousand drachmas. And about time, too. Do we know when the Chief Justice is arriving? I'm getting tired of waiting. Patience, my dear fellow. A few more days, a week, perhaps. Another week? I'll go insane. Is that far to go? Are you philosophically inclined, Takis? No, oh, not really. All a philosopher has to do is interpret the world. My vocation and yours is to change it. Then have you ever wondered what it is that motivates people like me? I'm sure I can guess. Guessing is not enough. You have to know. It's hatred, Takis. It doesn't really matter what a man hates, as long as he hates something. Do you understand me, Takis? Are you even capable of understanding me? I am and I do. Have another drink, Moretti. It's so much easier to talk with a maniac when he has a glass in his hand. A damn female. How did she ever get to me on a committee? Oh, she's bright, tough, and highly organized. I'll confess, I dislike her too. I like my women to be more, uh, amenable. Was well, she right? About Interpol? Yes, they have a man here already. Here? In Athens? Oh, there is no cause for alarm. He doesn't know who you are, we are sure of that. All he knows is that the terrible fellow codenamed Grappa is believed to be in Greece, possibly in Athens. And uh, we know who he is, this man from Interpol? Unhappily, no. But we are working on it. Then you'd better work hard, Tarkas. And work fast. Sears National Automotive Sale. Now, save $36 to $76 on a set of four Sears steel-belted radial tires. That's great savings on the most popular radial in Sears history. And the Sears heavy-duty shock can help save you from some of the jolts, chars, and jerks. Help save you some money, too. On sale now, only $5.99 each. Save 14% on America's best-selling shock. Installation available at most Sears tire and auto centers. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop at Sears. This is my first night camping with my family of five. Now I'm really glad I packed my Sears family-style tent. It's Sears' best tent, tested by Sir Edmund Hillary, the first man to conquer Mount Everest. This tent stands six feet nine inches in the center and has a sewn-in 10 by 14 foot floor. It sleeps eight, plenty of room for my family, even the dog. We like the windows that can be zipped shut from the inside and this large front canopy. Sears' best family-style tent is built to be lived in, and if it's good enough for Hillary, it's good enough for my family at most larger Sears retail stores. Dear, today I found the bedroom suite of my dreams at a great price. That's a coincidence. I found one that has all the features. Well, mine has authentic country styling. So does mine. Does yours have a beautiful 26-step finish? Nothing but, and I get a choice of 13 different pieces. All built to last for a long time? Yes, with sturdy tongue and groove construction and dovetail jointed drawers. <gasps> Is yours Sears, Sears, open Sears Open Hearth, hearth bedroom, bedroom Furniture? Sears Open Hearth Bedroom Collection. Expert craftsmanship at a reasonable price. Select from 13 different pieces. Now at most Sears retail stores. If someone is being pursued, then it's always possible that the pursuer is also the object of pursuit by someone else. And if you want a specific example of that possibility, listen to this. I'm back, Mr. Harlan. Ah, good evening, Pamela. Do you have something for me? A telex from London. I've just finished decoding it. Subject number 457 has joined subject 202. Action expected to be imminent. That's all. Hmm. 202 is Takis. We know that well enough. 457. Yes, 457 is Nadia Assad. Appendix 18B. Here she is. Nadia Assad, Greek Lebanese, 23 years old, 5 feet 2, 104 pounds, 
staff member of the committee, etc., etc. And photographs. Hmm. Pretty little thing, isn't she? Two pages on her modus operandi. Good. And if action is indeed imminent, we'd better move much closer in on Takis right away. Come in. Good evening, Charles. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had company. Come on in, Ray. Ray, this is Pamela Gray. She's working with me undercover. Ray Bowman, the American half of our team. Mr. Bowman? No, I thought I knew all the Interpol people in London. Well, hi there anyway. She's a supernumerary, Ray, not one of our regulars. I thought we might need specialized talent here. Pamela teaches Greek at London University, knows the language and the country well. I didn't want to deal with our agents in Athens. Security's terrible here. Well, I hope she realizes that she just might get shot at once in a while. We'll try to see that doesn't happen. Well, what have you got for me? I've got the answer. That's what I've got. Our problem has been we don't know what Grappa is up to, even if he really is here. Well, now we know. Good, good. Just got word from my boys in Rome. Listen to this. We have obtained solid evidence that Chief Justice Franco Baldessera is about to take a vacation. No, I'll make it short for you. It seems the Chief Justice is on his way here for a rest. He's been a prime target of the Red Brigade for more than a year now. In Rome, he's under constant guard, and here he'll have just one bodyguard. He'll be very, very vulnerable. And I just had word from London. A girl named Nadia Assad has joined up with Takis. Mm -hmm. I know her. She's a holy terror. And if she's come here, it means we don't have too much time. We have to mount a massive manhunt for Grappa right away, even if it means getting every Italian tourist in town out of bed for a heart-to-heart -heart talk. <laughs> Several thousand of them. No, maybe not. We chose this hotel because Takis is here. Might be a good guess that Grappa is registered here, too. I figure we'll need 20, 30 men. Let's think about that, Ray. Charles, we don't have too much time. Uh, Pamela, it's nearly 8 o'clock, and your quarry will undoubtedly be in the bar by now for his pre-prandial libation. Yes, of course. Uh, nice to have met you, Mr. Oh, Bowman. you bet, you bet. Uh, see you around, honey. What's she up to? Uh, Takis likes to hang around the bar all the time. Pamela's doing the same thing. Twice he's tried to pick her up, and, well, she's letting him get a little closer. What the hell good will that do? I don't know, but you just might see him make contact with someone, and that someone might be Grappa. That's pretty optimistic, isn't it? Takis is the only lead we have, Ray. You know, I've always figured optimism to be the last resort of the simple-minded, and we can't afford it now. Thirty good cops to go to work right away. No. I think not. Say again? Frankly, I believe the only way we'll ever get Grappa is by catching him in the act. You believe what? We catch him in the act of attempting a murder. You've got to be out of your mind. <clears throat> You've read his portrait, Paul, for God's sake. Well, of course I have. I've read every fact sheet there is on him. Then you know that in spite of half a dozen murders and Lord knows how many mutilations and bombings you and I know he committed... There's not one shred of evidence against him of the kind that will stand up in any court of law. I don't care about that. I want him stopped. All right. Suppose we find him, which is very doubtful. We don't have enough on him to even extradite him. So, I've got to hear this. I told you, we catch him in the act before he can complete it. Now, Charles, j just, just let me get this straight. You want Grappa to pick up his gun and start firing, and then we move in on him. Provided that we just, just, like, just happen to be where we don't know he's going to be. Rather crudely put, I feel, but oh, yes. yeah, something along those lines. Baldessera is as good as dead if we let Grappa get within a hundred yards of him. No! I heard around that the Interpol guy Grappa killed in Rome was your brother. Huh? That's why they gave me the case, so? And I know Baldessera personally. He's a real nice guy. If you have something to say, Mr. Bowman, then say it. Okay. We're both involved at the personal level, right? Yes. And what you're suffering from is distortion of judgment for the sake of revenge. Absolutely not. And if I have to pull rank on you, that's what I will do. 
We set a trap for Grappa, and we bait it with Baldessera. And I just hope you sleep well tonight. Sears Radio Theater will return after this message from your local station. This is Safety Vision, a quick and easy method for observing potential hazards in your home. Let's start by activating your safety scan. Carefully focus on your appliance cords and plugs. Check to see if they're damaged in any way. And if so, discontinue using the appliance. Next, you should focus on water. Check so that none of your plugged-in electrical appliances can be accidentally immersed in water or any other liquid. And avoid handling an electrical appliance with wet hands or when you are standing on a wet or damp floor. And finally, your safety scan should include checking for the UL label on all electrical appliances. That label indicates that the product design has been evaluated by safety engineers and complies with a nationally recognized safety standard. A public service message on behalf of Underwriters Laboratories and this station. When George had his heart attack, the doctor told me that we had to reduce the animal fat in his diet. His cholesterol count was too high. What did you do? George gets only lean meats, and I always cut off extra fat before cooking. He gets low-fat dairy products, grains and cereals, fish, poultry with no skin, fresh fruits and vegetables, and you know what? What? Our food bill is lower than before George had his heart attack. But doesn't he miss all what's, of them? What's to miss? He eats better than ever before and has more variety in his meals, too. And you know what? What? I do, too. What? Enjoy! The American Heart Association wants you to eat foods that not only taste good, but are healthy for your heart. It's not as complicated as you might think. Ask your Heart Association for their free booklet on heart-healthy diets. The American Heart Association. We're fighting for your life. You know, it's strange how a truly evil man can have a very human weakness that's able to destroy him utterly. Well, I guess it's very easy to lose your perspective when you meet up with a really good-looking woman, especially if she happens to be out for your blood. It's open. Pamela, well, what a delightful surprise to see you again. You did invite me to call on you. Whenever I felt like it, you said. And you feel like it now, huh? <laughs> Marvelous. Come in, come in. I feel... I feel sad tonight. Well, we cannot have that, can we? <laughs> Let me pour you a little something to cheer you up. Oh, just a very small one. I'm really not used to drinking too much. Drinking too much? Oh, that dear lady is a contradiction in terms. How beautiful you look tonight. Has anyone ever told you what wonderful eyes you have? As a matter of fact, yes. Often. Oh. <laughs> that was the wrong thing to say, wasn't it? So, let's begin again. Tell me why you are sad on this beautiful Greek night filled with the perfume of jasmine. Because I'll have to be leaving it all very soon now. Oh, no, not when I am finally getting to know you. I must. I'm afraid my money is running out. Well, that should present no problems. I am lucky enough to be one of those fortunate people who have more money than is good for them. Now, now. We can't allow that sort of thing, Mr. Tarkis. I really don't see why not. You see, I had this... this windfall. I rented my flat in London for two weeks for an enormous amount of money, a thousand pounds. A thousand? For just two weeks? That must be a very beautiful apartment indeed. Actually, it's a rather crummy sort of place in Bayswater. Really quite awful. Hmm, I am fascinated. Do go on. Well... There's no reason why I shouldn't share the ghastly secret, is there? 
I mean, I'm sure you're not going to tell on me. But of course not. Why should I? Tell what? Well, I got into trouble a while back, just a little bit, for smuggling some money to, I don't know, some radical students in Germany. And then this rather ferocious young man approached me and... Oh, dear. That's a very strong drink, isn't it? Uh, the, the, the ferocious young man, what did he want? I can't tell you. But you must, my dear Pamela. I am on tenter hooks. All right, then. He wanted to rent my flat because he was a fugitive from justice. He threw some bombs, and the police were after him, and he had nowhere to hide. And he offered me all this money. Well, I could hardly refuse, could I? I mean, it was just, well, just a caper. My dearest Pamela, you can have no idea just how much your very little capers endear you to me. Oh, I find them absolutely charming. And you are going to tell me all about them. So why don't we have dinner together tonight here in my suite? A perfectly splendid dinner with lots of champagne. <laughs> I don't suppose it's any use asking you to rethink this thing, Charles. Allow me to make a point, Ray. You accused me, somewhat unfairly, I thought, of being biased because of... Um, because of my brother's murder. But I could just as well accuse you of bias because of your friendship with the Baldessaras. But I've chosen not to. They landed three hours ago. They could have been gunned down already by an assassin whose identity we don't even know. But they have not been gunned down, and they are under the tightest possible surveillance. Baldessario is safe in his bed, and he won't leave the hotel until tomorrow night. No, that's tonight now, isn't it? When he goes to a dinner in his honor at Sunyon, and every inch of the way... Pamela! My God, you look terrible. What's happened? I didn't... Didn't know if you'd still be up, Mr. Harlan. She got smashed is what happened. Here, honey, have some coffee. Turkish coffee. Works wonders. I just had rather too much champagne. But I know the where and I know the when. Oh, good girl. Uh, drink your coffee, honey. The more on the way. At 3.15 this morning, the phone rang and Takis answered it. And what he said was, oh... That coffee's good. Does he know you speak Greek? Of course not. To him, I'm just... just an English tourist. Go on, go on. Well, he listened for a long, long time, and then he said, All right, tonight, when he leaves the hotel to go to that dinner, that gives you 18 hours to do what has to be done. He was talking to a woman. He called her Nadia. Ray, get Inspector Pagos over here, please. No. I hate the sea. I hate boats. I even hate fish. More intelligently, I hate microphones. I hate cameras. And I hate surveillance. We're far enough out now. Cut the motor. All right, now. Listen carefully. Chief Justice Baldessera and his wife have arrived in Athens. I did assume that was the reason for this meeting. Don't assume anything ever. I told you about that before. He's staying at the Magalos. That is only half a block from your own hotel. I know where the Magalos is. He is invited tonight for a dinner. Ten o'clock at the home of one of the ministers out in Sunion. That means he will leave the hotel soon after nine. Right opposite, there is an apartment building. I have taken an apartment there on the second floor, and it is from there that you will make the hit. Now, here is the key. He has a very good security man with him, and they will never leave by the front door. You can't be sure of that. Will you shut up and let me do the thinking? He will leave without a doubt by the only other door at the back, right opposite where you will be. There is good street lighting there. You will be in relative darkness, and the range is 32 meters. And for a machine pistol, that is practically point blank. I hope you can manage it. Okay. Okay. You can take your position at 7 o'clock. You lock yourself in, 
And from then on, you'll watch the rear entrance to the hotel like a hawk. There's a Megalos sign over it. When they come out, you will spray them with a full 32 shot magazine. Spray them with another when they are down. When it is over, you will immediately make your way down the elevator to the basement. The second door on your left leads to the tunnels under the street. Here's the key to it. 60 paces further on, there is a flight of steps that leads to the basement of your own hotel, to the laundry room where I will be waiting for you. To hold my hand? To take you to where the car is parked for your getaway to the airport. You abandon the car there, catch the late night flight back to Rome. You will wear a conservative business suit all the time. And you will load yourself down with tourist junk. You're a businessman going home to your damn bambini, so try and look like one. Any questions? Only one. I'm asking myself why I let you dictate to me like this. Because I am on the committee, and you are just a hired killer. There are people like you crawling in every gutter. The sea, and boats, and fish. Yes, I hate you, too. I'm glad of it. Ugh, that ashtray looks absolutely revolting. Do we still have coffee? Yeah. All right. What else have we got? Inspector Pagos? Uh, we know, sir, that the Chief Justice will be leaving the Megalos at 9.15. Uh, I have spoken uh, discreetly, of course, with his bodyguard. They'll use the rear entrance uh, for the sake of security. As, of course, they should. I wonder if Grappa will know that. Oh, he'll know it. That's where he'll be, at the back. Uh, we will cover all sides. I will have eight men on the rooftops, uh, six more in plain clothes on the streets. Uh, all of them sharpshooters. Cameras? Four infrared cameras will be set up at various points of uh, vantage. Uh, that's all we have in the department, Mr. Holland. As long as the operators keep their eyes open and their wits about them, I want the evidence. Right, right. A murder case kind of falls apart without evidence, doesn't it? A case of attempted murder. The moment Grappa readies his gun... If we see him Your in time... marksman will start firing. When I pick up that body, I want it to look like a Swiss cheese. Now, what about the girl Nadia? She must have made contact with Grappa. She's being followed, but no one seems to want to mention her. I'm afraid uh, uh, my man lost her, Mr. Harland. Early this morning, we have not been able to find her uh, since. Well, that's a great help. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Takis? Uh, we know Takis' modus operandi very well. He likes to establish a highly visible profile somewhere to set up an alibi if needed, uh, but still uh, close enough to know what is going on. That means he'll be in the hotel bar. I'll be there, too, drinking again. Now, you go back to sleep, honey. Leave this to the professionals. <laughs> She's right. Be there, Pamela. Now, one more thing. We have to fit Baldessera and his wife and his security man with bulletproof vests. Hope they have good ones here. I'm afraid we can't do that, Ray. Why not? It's mandatory. They've not been told that an attempt is being made on their lives. Oh, damn you. You're setting them up for murder. No, as a matter of record, I don't think I am. You don't think. He was a nice guy, Baldessera. And his wife, Maria, she was elderly and kind of roly-poly. A real kindly little old lady. And they don't have a chance in hell. <laughs> For Mother's Day, give Mom a hand yeah! with handy appliances from Sears. Prices have been cut on Sears' best food processor, 14-speed blender with jars, and a push-button self-cleaning broiler oven. Save money and she'll save time on ironing day with a spray steam-and-dry self-cleaning iron. So give Mom a helping hand on Mother's Day and save at Sears. Yeah! Sale ends May 26th. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii.
Your mom. By nature, she's different than any other mother in the world. Whether she's social, romantic, offbeat, or as classic as apple pie, you'll find a special fragrance to fit her nature at Sears. For Mother's Day, choose Revlon's Charlie for the contemporary woman on the run. Chantou, the essence of ever-so-soft romance. Or Prince Machiavelli favorites like Windsong, Aviance, or Cachet. This Mother's Day, discover gifts of fragrance that capture the nature of every woman at Sears. Take off on your vacation or to work this summer with Sears four-piece outfit. Wear the jacket shell and skirt or wear the jacket and shell with pants. Or choose a jacket and shell with two pair of pants. You can even wear them as separates. Now that's getting mileage out of your Sears four-piece outfit. Breezy fashion prints and sunny solids. So whatever combination you put on, you'll take off in style. From the dress department at Sears. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. Vincent Price again, and here's the concluding act of The Assassin. This is Charles Holland. I'm in position on the roof of the apartment building opposite the hotel. Come in, please, Inspector Pagos. Inspector Pagos here. There should be three men near you, Mr. Harland, but I believe them to be well hidden. Uh, two of them by the air conditioner outlet, the third uh, on the northwest corner. What about the infrared cameras, Pagos? Are they all in position? And where are you personally now? Four infrared cameras in position, Mr. Harland. Two of them have uh, uh, zoom lenses, and I think, yes, I think we're well covered. I myself am in the hotel on the balcony uh, overlooking the lobby. And my information is that Chief Justice Baldicera and his lady are about to leave their room. Their security man is waiting in the corridor to escort them. Uh, my own men have so far reported no signs uh, anywhere of any uh, waiting assassin. Uh, over to you, Mr. Harland. All right. Ray Bowman. I have to know where you are. Are you in position? Come in, please. Ray Bowman. Ray here. I'm with the number two cameraman, Charles, on the second floor of the hotel at the back. I can see you up there, right on the skyline. You better get your head down, damn it. I've got a high-power rifle with a night scope. If anybody moves a muscle around her, he's liable to get blown apart real fast. Uh, very please. Uh, Parkos here. The Baldicera party is reported to have left the room on the fifth floor. They are waiting for the elevator. Uh, the elevator is going up now. Hey, 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 hey. There's someone in a darkened room on the second floor of the building right opposite me. He's only 50 feet away, just, just a shadow. He's gone. I'm watching. I'm watching. Ray, Ray, keep off the air. Leave it for Pagos now. I have to know where the Baldiceras are. Pagos here, Mr. Harland. The Baldicera party are in the elevator. It is moving down to the lobby. I am watching the light. The elevator has stopped. Yes, yes, there they are now. The Chief Justice is wearing a dark suit with a red tie. His lady has on a green dress. Really, a very fashionable dress. Pagos, for heaven's sake. They are moving now across the lobby. The Chief Justice is stopping at the kiosk to buy something. Ah, yes, cigarettes. The security man is ahead of them at the rear entrance. I can see their car pulling into the curb, a white Mercedes. The security man is looking around the street from the steps. He is signaling to them to move out. They're moving onto the street. I am giving the code word now for the cameras and the marksmen. Kiniu, Kiniu, Kiniu. I have lost sight of them now. They are all yours, Mr. Harland. What's going on down there? What happened? I can't see a thing. There are too many people in the way. What happened? Are they hurt? Pagos, come in. Come in, Pagos. Yes. Yes, they have been hurt. 
They are lying in the street. I got him. I got him. I got three shots in there. I know I hit him. They're hurt. I am trying to find out now. Stand back there. Stand back. Figure it out. Figure it. Figure it. He's wounded. I hit him. He's on the second floor there, right across the street. Pagos, get in there fast, will you? The second floor, third window from the right. Get there fast. Anyone know what happened out there? Please, everybody better stay in the bar. Darling, it's another revolution. They always have them it's here. It's tight, everybody. I'm going to find out. Oh, Harry, why can't we go home? I never wanted to come here in the first place. I mean, what is there in Greece? Takis, what on earth is going on? I haven't the faintest idea, my dear Pamela. Shooting on the streets in Athens, it's quite unheard of. He must be foreigners. Foreigners? Well, there is something you should know about the Greeks. We almost never shoot each other. We just shout a lot. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Stavros Pastro, this manager of the hotel. Please don't leave the bar. Please stay away from the lobby. Stay in bar. It's safe. Please, everyone stay here. You see? We just sit here and have a quiet drink until we wait for some intrepid soul to bring us all the news. It really is the wisest... What is it, Takis? What are you staring at? Uh, someone I know. Excuse me. Nadia, what the devil are you doing here? You're supposed to be... Shh. He's hurt badly. Oh, my God. Come over here into the corner. Now we have decisions to make. Grappa, they shot him. Two bullets in the chest. Then what went wrong? You're supposed to be in charge of this operation. I don't know what went wrong, but it doesn't matter. What matters now is that we have to hide him. Find a doctor we can trust. Where is he? Where is he? In the basement, the laundry room. He cannot stay there long. We'll have to take him to your room. It is the only place. Wait. I have an idea. A very safe place. Uh, wait for me here. A moment only. Pamela, my dear. Uh, I will put my cards on the table because, frankly, there is no time for anything else. I have a problem on my hands, a matter that might be to your very considerable financial advantage. Oh, really? Well... That is interesting. You told me that among your many other uh, capers, you rented your apartment in London to a fugitive from justice. I told you about that. Oh, dear. Uh, I need your room here, dear Pamela, for, say, 24 hours or so. Did you say something about considerable financial advantage? 20,000 drachmas. Well, I'd call that considerable, yes cash on the barrel. And that is the kind of talk I understand exactly. Oh, darling, not in front of all these people. What would they think? There is no time for the niceties. The key. There you are. Room 444. Four, four. Don't go there again until I tell you. Find another hotel for tonight. Uh, excuse me. A bartender. I'll have another of the same, please. Uh, put it on Mr. Taki's bill. Yes, madam. Pargos, Pargos, forget the excuses. I just want results. Oh, my God. And the security man? And Grappa, what about Grappa? Damn it, Pargos, I hit him. I know I hit him. Yeah, I know that. Okay, okay. Oh, no one's blaming you, Pargus. Yeah, keep in touch. I'm in Charles Harlan's room at the hotel. Yeah, you bet. Well? You really want to know, don't you? I'm waiting, Ray. Okay. Then let me lay it out for you, all gift-wrapped. Three innocent bystanders wounded, one of them seriously. The security man hurt real bad. He may die or may not die. Signora Maria Baldessari, you remember I told you what a cute little roly-poly she was? Killed instantly, her chest blown wide open. The chief justice himself, 
seven machine pistol bullets in a 72-year-old body just died on the operating table. But don't worry about it too much, Charles. They're not all dead. Like Grappa now. He's still running around loose someplace, certainly wounded, because I know I hit him. But he's still loose out there somewhere. Pago says he'll be in one of the rabbit warrens in the Plaka by now. Not a hope in hell of ever finding him. Takis? Oh, he's probably sitting in the bar right now, gloating over another successful operation. And Nadia? I don't even want to know about Nadia. I don't care anymore. Come in, Pamela. Come in and hear the bad news. First, you may want to hear mine, Mr. Harland. Give them a moment or two to settle in, and then you'll find Cropper and Takis and Nadia in my room. Did I hear that correctly? All three of them, without a doubt, in my room. That's number four. 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 <laughs> my God, we did it. We pulled it off. Inspector Pagos, Charles Holland, they are all in room 444 here at the hotel. Okay, okay, you got your revenge, Charles. It's one hell of a price to pay for it. You murdered them. That's what I said, Pagos, room 444. Perhaps you'd like to take some men over there and pick them all up now. A high price, you said. Yes. A very high price indeed, Ray. But that's the way it is sometimes, as you learn when you reach my age, if you live that long. But we got the assassin, Ray, didn't we? We got him. <laughs> Sears National Automotive Sale. Now, save 36 to $76 on a set of four Sears steel-belted radial tires. That's great savings on the most popular radial in Sears history. And the Sears heavy-duty shock can help save you from some of the jolts, charts, and jerks. Help save you some money, too. On sale now, only $5.99 each. Save 14% on America's best-selling shock. Installation available at most Sears tire and auto centers. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop! Honey, I can't sleep. Maybe you should try counting sheets. You mean sheep? No, Medley Sheets from Sears in so many great colors from light to dark. Rest easy knowing your bed looks fantastic because Medley Solids come in up to 24 colors like Indian Copper, Royal Blue, Lemon Yellow, and Jungle Green. But don't just count them. Mix and match them with Medley Pattern Sheets and Cases for a designer effect. Then dream in color tonight. Available at most larger Sears retail stores in the catalog. Here's a riddle for you women to solve. I'm one of the first things on in the morning, one of the last things off at night. With slack skirts and shorts, I look so right. Who am I? Give up? I'm the shirt. The wear with anything shirt from Sears. I come in both pretty pastels and assorted prints with short sleeves and tailored styling. And I'm Easy Care Polyester. So go with the go with anything shirt. For smart spring and summer fashion, buy the shirt in the Mrs. Sportswear department. At most larger Sears retail stores. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. The Assassin was written by Alan Caillou, produced and directed by Fletcher Markle. Your host was Vincent Price. Our stars were Ivor Berry, Antoinette Bauer, and Shepard Mencken. Featured in the cast were Joe Maross, Marvin Miller, Pamela Brook, Alan Caillou, and Don Diamond. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. This is Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliot Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CVI. You've changed, Bernard. You're not the man I married. What do you mean, Francine? Remember the way you were? Vulnerable? You made mistakes. But now, look, you're confident. Everything you do turns out right. It's that book you sent away for. 
It's just a catalog mm. from the Consumer Information Center. It lists more than 200 federal publications you can send for on building, fixing, eating, buying, selling, working, playing, living. And more than half of them are free. Yes, Francine, the man you married is gone for good. Mm. All right, Bernard. But would you make just one more mistake for old time's sake? All right. For you, oh. I'll just replace that window glass like I used to. Whatever you do, learn to do it better. Send for your free catalog. Just write Consumer Catalog, Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. Francine, send for that publication on first aid. What was that address? Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. Here's a tip from your Better Business Bureau. Each year, medical quackery takes many dollars from unsuspecting people, as well as endangering the health of innocent victims. Watch out for the telltale signs. There are several different types of quackery to look out for. For example, false claims for drugs, food fads, and unnecessary food supplements, as well as fake medical devices. Remember that their promoters are much more interested in making money than in preserving health. Quackery and drugs include so-called cures for arthritis, rheumatism, baldness, and pills that supposedly melt away fat. Drug quackery can be very dangerous in that the victim is sometimes kept from seeing a doctor and obtaining life-saving treatment. The food quack attempts to convince the dieter that vitamin supplements are the only way to a thinner body. And once again, only a doctor should diagnose a vitamin deficiency and write up the necessary prescription. A tip from your Better Business Bureau. Sears Radio Theater will be a story of love and hate with Cicely Tyson as your hostess. Let's listen. Oh, Steve, they see a lot of people. That's their job. It doesn't mean you've got the part. I'm perfect for it. That's going to be a big movie. The great thing is, they don't want a name. <laughs> they want an unknown. There are a lot of unknowns in this town. So be sure and tune in tomorrow to the Sears Radio Theater. <laughs>